So we've been doing a lot of work down here in the shop. This area right over here, I had a bunch of those aluminum cans. I hauled that off a whole nother truckload. I had 80 pounds of aluminum cans that I dropped off for recycling. Um, the prices right now are terrible, so I, I didn't get much money out of that. It was hardly worth doing, but it's out of here and got the space opened up. Now, over here, look at that. I have a work surface cleaned off and ready to use. So I can start bringing some tools over here. Um, if I need to pull a car in here, work on something, I can do that. Um, you see the water on the floor there? That's coming in the pipes there from the uh, old wood stove that is trashed. Um, so we need to address that. And then there's another puddle here. Um, it rained last night, if you can't tell. Um, so this one is coming from the middle somewhere up in there. Um, so we need to address the roof leak as well. And then also on the plans is this door, the walkthrough door needs reframed and there's another door up there by the house that we're probably gonna replace this one with. And then also we want to redo this door. The, the old overhead door is back there in a pile all bent up and, and messed up. So we're gonna replace that. And there is some extra space up here. So I think we can reframe this and Put a little bit taller door in here. Moving on outside the shop, hopefully you can hear me. I, I apologize about any wind noise. It's pretty windy today. Uh, but you see around the side here, all this is cleaned up. This was that huge pile of just glass, trash, aluminum, everything out here. Now, obviously, you're not going to be wanting to walk around out here barefoot, maybe ever. Um, it, it's looking pretty good uh, back here nice and cleaned up this was just piled up everywhere back here too um, so we've still got I got a, I got rid of all the aluminum now but we've got a bunch of tin cans just metal cans here in, in a bunch of these and then a bunch of glass there are I don't know how many, probably probably about 15, 15 of these tubs of glass. Now I think I've I think I've got somewhere located about half an hour away that I can take all that stuff. Now the backside in this lean-to has some issues. This post is pretty much cracked all the way through. Not sure how well that's showing up on camera, but just take my word for it, this post is in bad shape. And then the way this is built is not quite the way it should be. And then right here, you see these little nails sticking out that's where another post is supposed to be these posts sh are supposed to be about 10 feet apart that's that's the way these two posts are it's about 10 feet apart and then 10 feet more there's supposed to be another post right here so this is a 20 foot span right here which is bad so we need to fix some of these issues before we put anything of much value under here. Now on down here behind the shop, if you've watched all my videos, you've seen some of this mess that was back here. Um, my dad has done most of this and he really impressed me. There used to be a pile of junk back here. 
Uh, he picked all that up. So the only things left back here are my fridges and freezers. And this old truck is still back here. And then a couple of other odds and ends. Um, big piece of metal there. Um, and then the pile of pile of styrofoam back there. But we've got all that all piled up in one place now. And that's pretty much it. Everything else back here is all cleaned up. So these fridges and freezers, um, they're still stinking pretty bad, but it's getting better. Uh, so we're gonna let, let those lay there longer until they really stop stinking. And then we'll get those hauled back up out of here as well. So I'm super excited to have this bench top cleaned off and ready to use. Uh, it's finally beginning to feel more like a blank slate to work with out here instead of just a mess to clean up. Um, a lot of times when you buy a house, you just have a blank slate and you start doing what you want to do with it right away. But out here, we have to get to a blank slate before we can start doing anything. Um, so we're beginning to get that feel in here in the shop, and I really like it. So just don't look over there. So that's kind of the update on the shop. Um, I know people enjoy shop type stuff, and that's kind of why I'm keeping this uh, update separate from the house. Um, there's enough going on down here uh, to be its own YouTube channel, really. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.